Okay, hi, I welcome you to another review in the 100 Film Project. Um, today's movie is, um, that I'm going to review is called Past Lives. And uh, it's the story of two friends that grew up in Korea. One of them immigrates with uh, their family to Canada. And uh, this affects their friendship because now they grow up in two different places. And uh, the names of the characters are Nora and Hae Sung. Um, so, so one character grows up in South Korea and the other character grows up in Canada and then moves to the US later on. But South Korea and Canada are basically the initial settings for this story. The movie is called Past Lives because it makes you reflect on how our past affects our present and future. It's very hard to sustain relationships that you may have initially developed at school as you grow older. And um, these two people developed this connection um, when they were in school and uh, they tried their best to hold on to that connection as they grew older. It just got harder and harder with time because their contexts and their worlds were just so different. Um, Nora decides to become a writer and Hae Sung decides to become an engineer. So professionally they took up different paths. Um, the world they were living in was also culturally very different. Um, I think Nora did have um, an attraction or a sense of attraction towards Hae Sung when she was younger. And as she grew up, she constantly felt that that sense of attraction still existed. Um, she did make an attempt to connect with Hae Sung um, in her 20s. Um, they wrote to each other um, quite regularly, but she realized that it was affecting her ability to be in this new environment. So she cut out that connection and... Uh, I think 20 years later, Hae Sung decides to make a trip to New York and they meet up again. And um, what's surprising is that some of the connection that existed really long ago still existed in this meeting 20 years later. And it seems like they started talking um, right where they left off. And I think it says something for how all of us have um, pieces of our past lives existing in us right now that we're able to tap into at any moment um, in our lives. And when we meet people um, who we've spent time with in the past, those parts of our identity do come out. So that was something I noticed in this film. Um, and it also made me reflect on how different pieces of our life, for instance, if you live for 30 years, you have 30 different versions of yourself for each of those 30 years. And all those pieces come together to make who you are today. So when you meet people who you've spent time with as maybe a 25-year-old, a 23-year-old, an 18-year-old, a 15-year-old, you sort of develop these images, memories, sounds, ideas of what you were like at that point. And you may have changed completely, you know, in that time period, but um, it really gets you thinking about how those fragments and those pieces were also important parts of your identity. And, you know, relationships that were developed at a certain point, even if they have ended, they did hold value for you at that point of time. And that is important in the context of your development as an individual too. So it was a beautiful um, story um, to understand how human relationships evolve over time. And uh, it's definitely one of my top five um, love stories. And uh, Celine's song, I really look forward to more movies by this director.